Hey, what's up guys? It's Ashton here for our How To Sundays. Uh, this Sunday I'm going to be talking about binding, um, just specifically on tips on how to kind of bind safely. Um, so, when you're in the market to buy a binder, um, you're definitely going to want to measure yourself uh, to make sure that your binder fits properly. Uh, you don't want one that's too small because obviously binders restrict your breathing as is and if it's too small it's going to make it worse. Um, you also don't want to get one that's too big because if it's too big it's not going to be as effective as one that fits properly. Um, so make sure you measure uh, yourself to get a binder that fits. Uh, most places that sell binders have a sizing chart according to how your chest measures out so definitely use those sizing charts to help you find a size. Um, the second tip would be to uh, not bind for long periods of time so you definitely don't want to go more than like 8 to 12 hours binding um, because it's does constrict your diaphragm and stuff like that so it makes it hard to breathe and it can be really uncomfortable um, if you bind for a really long time and you don't want to restrict that uh, movement or you don't want to restrict your body sorry I'm sick so if I'm sniffing a lot that's why um let's see I don't bind for more than eight hours at a time just because it's super uncomfortable for me. Um, if you do need to bind for longer than eight hours, you know, always stretch when you're binding. You want to get up and stretch out and move around and um, cough a little bit so you loosen anything that's building in your lungs. Um, definitely, definitely, whatever you do, do not use ace bandages or duct tape. Um, Ace bandages are really, really bad. If you wrap it too tight, you can cause a lot of damage to your skin. Uh, you can cause a lot of internal damage. So you definitely want to avoid ace bandages. And don't use duct tape because, again, it can damage your skin. Um, some places that are really good in terms of binders would be Underworks and GC2B. Um, my favorite binders come from GC2B just because they're a little bit more comfortable than the Underworks one and they're actually made for trans people where the Underworks one are made for cis males who suffer from like gynecomastia. So um, those two places are the places that I found work best. I prefer the GC2B binders over the Underworks but that doesn't mean that they're not as good. Um, and I believe that the GC2B are a little bit cheaper than the Underworks binder. But again, it comes down to personal preference. Uh, they both work pretty effectively. They both give you a pretty flat chest. Um, and, you know, they both sell in like a half length and a full length binder. Um, so, it's, again, it just comes down to what you prefer. Um, if you have any other questions on binding, I told you it was going to be a short, sweet, to the point video uh, this week. If you have any other questions about binding, please feel free to ask. Uh, check out our resources page. We list a couple of places where you can get binders and um, some places about binding tips as well. Um, and if you haven't already, we have release another Teespring campaign for our new shirts, so definitely check that out. Um, they, I believe we only have to sell like three to get them to ship, so if three of you guys buy our shirts, uh, they're guaranteed to ship. Um, so definitely check those out, and please, uh, you know, contact us on our blog through our email if you want to have a more private conversation with any questions, video ideas, um, advice, or anything really that you need. We're always here to help, and thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoy your Sunday, and happy Valentine's Day.